Hi again there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the program. You're watching Andrew Richter, the television show, giving you the news you need to know. You don't get this stuff anywhere else. You won't find this stuff in your local paper. You won't find these things on your local news. You only get them here. Look at the service that I provide. I know I get paid well, but I provide a great service here to the uh, audience here in the northwest suburbs. Um, some recent news uh, we're going to cover today. Uh, largely with the governor's budget proposal on January 22nd. Governor Dayton made his uh, proposals known to the public. He and his uh, finance, finance geeks uh, talked at length that day. If you, could, if you had a six Red Bulls handy, you, handy, you might, have stayed, might have stayed awake through it. And what we're going to do is we're going to break down this proposal, what it could mean for you, your family, your job, your business, uh, whatever, and I've got to break it down. I can only think of one person to bring on this show, and it is the numbers guy, Ron Stoffel. Ron, welcome back. Well, thank you. It's good to be back in the in the new year here, 2003, and congratulations. 2013. On, or 13, enough. yeah, 13, that's right. <laughs> I just blew my numbers guy right there out of the way. Oh, well, we'll, we'll cut that out real fast. Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, but congratulations. I heard that they uh, picked you up on your option year, that's and you're on your fifth year now. That's right. I'm doing uh, this show. Your so. first appearance on season five. The first of many, I would imagine. Well, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, the governor did come on uh, with his budget, which he was required to do by law. So I'm glad that he is doing that. Uh, <laughs> when we have our federal government uh, maybe not doing that so well with, uh, see, four years now without a Senate budget. But yeah. we'll, we'll stay on. We'll stay at local here. But I'm glad that he did his constitutional duties and, and got it out. Um, people have told me that it is uh, more pages than the health care bill that the federal government did for Obamacare. I haven't gone through it yet. I've just got the summary for you. Uh, and this is what's out of the news. And you know, we're looking at uh, a couple of different sources to give everybody an indication. We're looking at the slides that the governor used from his budget office. And we're also using NPR News just for everybody to be fair and balanced. We're using both sides here uh, of the issue. So. I think the big thing that's out there that's being taunted that I'm hearing is the reduction in the sales tax rate. Hmm. That he has proposed a 20% decrease in the general state rate going from 6.875% down to 5.5%. Which sounds great, but of course there's always a catch to it, right? Well, yes. Now, now the, that's where we go, yay, less taxes. And I applaud him for doing that. But then they broadened the base. And the devil is in the details in broadening that base. Right. And we should explain first that um, in Minnesota, goods are subject to the sales tax, not services. They are exempt from. In sales. most cases. There, there's a few services, but most of the services have been Generally exempt. Generally speaking, right. that's pretty yeah. much the, the, the big, big uh, exemptions that Minnesota had was clothing, food, and most services. Mm -hmm. So to broaden that base, when they've already got all the products, they're going after services and going after some clothes. Now, and this is to, I think, benefit uh, the governor on his pledge to tax the rich. Clothes over $100, and I haven't looked at the details as to if this is on a per item basis. So if you buy a $99.95 pair of shoes, you're okay. But if you buy those big, expensive ones at the $101, you get tax. Yeah. Or if it is going to be per single transaction. So I go really? in and I buy five shirts for $20. Am I over? I haven't looked at the details again. And again, I'm sure the legislature will do that. But it's taunted at hitting those rich, expensive goods that all of the bad people buy. Yeah. And, but, but basically, th this is a... Um this is being sold as a tax decrease. That is correct. But the truth is, I mean, if you add five and a half percent onto virtually everything that you're not paying taxes onto now, I mean, the governor's own office says that this is going to raise just this alone, I believe, is in the two billion dollar range. And yet, according to the governor, um, nobody is going to see a change. So $2 billion is going to be collected, but nobody's going to pay it. Well, it's just going to be the, the, the people that he's after, which are rich people 
It's after businesses, which pay all the taxes. Nobody pays any of that. Right. That doesn't, you don't the pass that on. The business is the collector. There. Well, no, but he's, they're paying it because they're going to pay it on their services and stuff and all their purchases. That's and again, true. big services, legal and accounting, those are going to be taxed now. Businesses are the major purchasers of that. Well, now the question is, go are, those, for it. No, are those Minnesota-based, meaning if the bill comes from Minnesota, or is it Minnesota, Minnesota company. companies? Mm. Because having been in the accounting profession, every big four firm out there has a Minneapolis office, but I can guarantee you they can build just as well from Chicago and intercompany bill that. Uh, so, so again, again the, the details, in the right, in the details. And depending on what you look at, if you look at their comparison of what you do currently, so the 2012-13 budget, and compare that to his proposal for 14-15, according to his own slides and the budget office, it's $2.7 billion increase by that's broadening the, the that's base. That's the net increase right. for government. That's the net increase. So reducing the rate on the things that were taxed and broadening the base, so taxing those who weren't taxed before, has more revenue to the tune of 2.7 billion dollars. <laughs> but again, no one's paying it. Right, uh, and that's a 28.5 percent increase in that category over what they projected to get for the 2012-2013 year. Hmm. And we should mention some other things that. Uh, are, when we mentioned um, legal and accounting, how about over-the-counter drugs? Yep. Uh, another thing, you want to go buy your, go to Walgreens, buy your Viagra or hemorrhoid cream, that's going to cost another 5.5%. Uh, Tylenol. You know. Digital goods, music downloads, yep. those kinds of things. Yep. Um, you're looking at employment expenses. These are business services. Yep. Uh, other personal care services, admissions and memberships. Now, that's a little broad, but I was thinking... We were talking off camera. That might be your, uh, your if you're at a fitness your fitness, fitness club or your golf yep. resort or something. I mean, imagine adding five and a half percent to all that. And keep in mind something else. One of the things that's being proposed is daycare. Yep. That I mean, just that's think, another service. Right. And just think for a second. You know, I have some friends, especially lower middle income single yep. family homes. Mm -hmm. They especially if the kids are small. They may pay more for daycare in a month than they pay for their rent right. or yep. their house. Nope. And again, this was all proposed you know, when Governor Dayton ran. If you remember back then, it was to soak the rich. Well, I hate to tell you, but these taxes are going to come down on middle America and low income. I know that there has been a look. And one of the senators, I think it might be a Republican senator, so all you Democrats, close your ears because this is meaningless. <laughs> if you take, and again, they use $2.1 billion which is comparing the forecast for 2014-15 that is out there compared to his budget. And, and we'll get a new forecast in February. Right. A new, this is, the governor is based on the November forecast. Right. But based on, so looking at what the forecast is for apples to apples, 2014-15, they had $2.1 billion increase. The population currently is $5.3 million. So every person is going to pay an extra average of $390 per person. Oh. Family of four, that's over $1,500 a year, or a little more than about $130 per month in additional sales tax on average. And again, this is an average, just taking what they, in their numbers, how much they're gonna raise net, dividing it by the population. So again, you're gonna have people that are gonna be paying more and less than that, just on sales tax. 